Well, welcome to our journey through Advent. I'm Malcolm, one of the pastors here at Union Baptist Church, and we're really pleased that you've decided to join us on this journey. Advent, of course, is a time when we prepare for the coming of Jesus, and we hope that these daily video clips, readings, ideas, challenges and prayers will really help you. As you listen to the short Advent readings, you will progress on the journey to Bethlehem and grow in your wonder about the coming Saviour. Advent often starts for us as a family here as I climb up into our loft to retrieve the Christmas decorations and last year Cash and Shaheen um, added to our decorations by kindly giving us a snowflake projector which you're now enjoying. It reminds me of the light of the world, Jesus, who shines in the darkness of this life as we open up our lives to him, particularly at this time of year, but at all times. Let's now join in prayer um, as we start this Advent journey. Dear Lord, help us to reflect upon our own life this Advent. Show us areas of darkness in us. Where have I become hardened to the plight of others? Or where have I lost the will to do good? Lord, help me. Bring your light and your forgiveness and help me today to walk in your light. Allow me to see that in the darkness and in the darkest places, it is possible for the light to shine brightest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Day one. This Bible verse is taken from John chapter one verses 5 to 13. The birth of John the Baptist foretold. When Herod was king of Judah, there was a Jewish priest named Zechariah. He was a member of the priestly order of Abijah, and his wife, Elizabeth, was also from the priestly line of Aaron. Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all of the Lord's commandments and regulations. They had no children because Elizabeth was unable to conceive and they were both very old. One day, Zachariah was serving God in the temple for his order was on duty that week. As was the custom of the priests, he was chosen by a lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. While the incense was being burned, a great crowd stood outside praying. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar. Zechariah was shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him. But the angel said, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you are to name him John. I'll leave you with a clip to explain what Advent is about.